let's talk to a guy who's also in this pin room, by the way, Rob Bluey. Rob's the president and executive director at the Daily Signal, affiliated with the Heritage Foundation. It's good to have you back on the show. That must have been, it's always interesting to be in these spin rooms. Actually, let me start with that. I want to get to the rematch stuff in a second. It was interesting what Trump said today, but you must have been like, hey, is that him actually in the spin room? What was it like last night? Thanks for having me back, Kyle. Yeah. Yes, it was quite a surprise. In fact, I talked to some political veterans who were in the room and they never remember <laughs> in a general election debate, a candidate coming down to the spin room and spending time with reporters. Usually you delegate that task to surrogates, maybe politicians from the House, Senate, other governors. And those people were there last night, but certainly Donald Trump attracted quite a crowd when he showed up. Now, what about the debate number two or three, if you count the Biden one, whether it'll happen? So Trump first puts on social media when he called into the, the Fox show, he said basically sounded like he didn't when he parted it right away after the debate last night, Harris, her team's put out, oh, we want to do another debate. Now, today, Trump's saying, maybe we, we're thinking about it. We're not sure. What do you think is going to happen? I hope that the two candidates do debate. I hope they debate twice more. Uh, traditionally, going back decades, the presidential candidates have had three debates. Now, I understand Donald Trump has already done one debate mm -hmm. against Joe Biden. And, and now you have this first debate with Kamala Harris. I really think, though, that the voters would benefit from hearing these two candidates talk about the issues that matter most to them. And so whether or not they are able to come to an agreement on it, and I think it's difficult when you don't have the Commission on Presidential Debates involved in those negotiations, perhaps this is not something that will be possible. But as Vivek Ramaswamy said in the spin room last night, maybe the moderator should take a back seat and just let these two candidates have a conversation. So on that issue, I want to get your point of view on that. It's become, especially in conservative circles, a big deal today, this idea that it was three on one or whatever people are saying. I did think it was interesting what the Wall Street Journal editorial board said in their piece. I'll put up the headline, Trump lets Harris off the debate hook. And since the former president let her rattle him as he failed to make her defend her policies. In other words, and they did talk of their piece about the moderators of maybe not being fair, but also, you know what? It's on him. He had his chances and he didn't take advantage. What do you say? Donald Trump wasn't on the defensive for most of the night. There's no doubt about that. I think that was a combination of the questions he was asked by the moderators and the fact that Kamala Harris was successfully baiting him. It wasn't really until the end of the debate that Trump went on offense and pointed out that Kamala Harris has had three and a half years to implement an agenda and she has failed to do so. I do think the moderators played a big role in this, unlike the CNN debate where they largely stayed on the sidelines. They did a lot of fact checking of Trump, not so much of Kamala Harris. And I think that Republicans probably have a reason to complain today. All right, Rob Bluey, appreciate your point of view. Thanks for coming on again. We'll have you on again soon.